hey guys what's up everybody welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the apex predator billiards club my name is apex selenio your aspiring professional pool player and a pool instructor all the way from the caribbean country of jamaica and in today's video our rack analysis series we're going to be looking at different facets of the game such as positional play playing defense versus playing offense and how we can add these principles and skill sets to our repertoire of skills or arsenals or bag of tricks as you want to call it so as to supercharge our game to get us to the next level where we can win more racks and win more matches now if this is your first time here on my channel please be sure to smash that subscribe button below turn on your post notification bell and of course drop a like if the content is of any use to you so we're just going to jump right into the break shot here we're going to be analyzing the rack to see what went wrong what went right and how we can improve as we get better so i'm just going to pull the video up a little bit here and start over from the break shot and from there we're going to break down exactly what happened on each shot so here we go so now we are just placing the cue ball there usually that's my break spot one diamond out from the side rail one diamond down from the short rail and aiming directly at the one with a slight cut and playing a bit of stun there you can see i played a bit too much stun that three ball flew into the side pocket i was fortunate enough to get a shot on the one but now as you can see there, the two ball is all the way over here to the right side of the rail and just getting position on two is going to be really really tough pocketing the one is not hard but as you can see there i'm just trying to figure out a path in which i can get in between the three ball and the seven ball there the cue ball has a natural angle after cutting the one of heading into the seven but if i can slightly cheat the pocket to which i'm aiming the one ball to i should be able to catch the right side of the seven and open up a lane or a zone for me to get a shot on the one and excellently that was perfectly done there now as you all know that nine ball is a game of positional play more than it is a game of ball pocketing you have to be able to pocket balls but you have to be able to play position on the next shot obviously what's going to happen if it is that you're unable to play proper position you're going to find yourself coming to the table less and giving opponent more chances than they need to have anyways i have a shot here on the two straight down to the rail just gonna be playing with a bit of stun draw here just to come out back to the middle of the table straight down into the corner very good shot there on the two to get back on to the three here i have a straight in shot on the three i have some insects just flying around a little bit here so i'm just waving my magic one maybe this magic one is what's gonna allow me to run this rack but hopefully um that won't be to my own demise anyways let's get back to the rack here i'm on the three i have a straight in shot on the three but based on the angle well i don't think i have a lot of angle so just getting back clean position on the four is going to be challenging so as you can see i'm just lining up a bang shot here and so i'm gonna have to play this easy shot well this apparently easy shot straight in on the three and settle for a tough shot on the four and this is just about the game of nine ball sometimes you're always going to want the easiest shots but sometimes you're going to have to mentally prepare yourself to play some tough kicks tough banks tough jump shots that's just how the game is played a, a final stroke was needed on that three i rattled the ball into the four inch pocket of this table i have a very old cloth on this table so it's pretty slow and the least if a part of the ball catches the near rail it will stand up into the pocket or it will rattle out of the pocket so um, I missed that apparently easy straight in three ball so now what's gonna happen here is that I'm gonna have to try to play some sort of defense and this again is another facet of the game that a lot of players need to add to their repertoire of skills playing defense even when you're in the toughest of situations what I'm trying to do here is just come off two rails maybe three to get in behind the nine eight and seven here or the nine eight and six i had a bit too much right spin on that i needed to come a little bit higher so 
Hence, I got a containing safety, but I didn't get a locked up safety like I intended. I had, I basically leaked the three here. It's a tough shot on the three. Nevertheless, it's still makeable. And based on the angle, the natural path will take me three reels in towards the four right here that is lying on the side rail. So it's a tough shot. Let's see. Be beautiful. Very well done. Nice positional play into the zone to land onto the four. And it's almost in an exact or an identical position as where the two ball was. So I earlier had played a shot on the two straight down into the rail. Let's see if I can pull off this shot here again on the four. Beautiful, just coming across the side rail here, coming back to the middle of the table. Very smooth stroke on that four. And now I'm pretty much on the six. I don't think the six passes, obviously. Okay, so the six is actually behind the eight. So now I'm gonna have to play a six eight combination. And for those who are wondering why am I playing the eight so early, remember this is the game of nine ball and not eight ball. So you are allowed to play the lowest numbered ball into any other ball as long as you make contact with the lowest numbered ball first and it, the ball that you're aiming at is legally pocketed that's fair enough and so that was a pretty good shot 6A combination I have a thin cut here on the 6 and I have to just go across 2 rails to come back into the middle of the table here I slightly cut that 6 ball way too thin leaving myself with a tougher shot than I actually wanted on this 7 so definitely not the most ideal shot but this is definitely a makeover shot i put a lot of practice into shots like these similar okay but no matter how much practice you guys put in you're still gonna have to do the whole process of aiming and mentally preparing yourself for execution because execution cannot be achieved without proper preparation of the shots that you put into practice so now all i have to do here is just play this seven ball here in and stun into the side rail for a shot on the nine okay so i obviously play that seven ball way too hard that's the second shot that i've missed into that corner pocket there so that's definitely something to take note of and i can definitely add that to my game here so that was the only well that's the second miss shot in the rack but I'm sure that there's something that was learned from this rock here and that's pretty good it was an even rock for me hope you guys learned some principles from that we're just gonna jump right into the next rock and the final rock of this video all right lovely all right good so that was the end of rock number one from that training session we're just gonna get into the second rock here to see how we can navigate and get some principles again guys if this is the first time here on the channel please be sure to smash that subscribe button like share and leave me a comment down below to let me know if you're interested in playing such a game like this or definitely check in the description box below you can reach out to me where i can answer your questions and leave you with some advice on improving this is a training club guys this is not a club that teaches you how to be perfect this is a club that teaches you how to be consistent and to get to the next level all right so that's not a very good break shot definitely again i had too much stun on that ball so you can see the cue ball was being drawn down to the end rail i didn't hit the one ball as full i hit it a bit too much to the left hence drawing the cue ball into the side pocket usually this is very detrimental for a nine ball player a scratch is considered to be a sin in nine ball and at a higher level than where i am at most pro pool players would perhaps find a way to run this rack out or even to play a devastating safety to create an opportunity for a run out so now i have the opportunity here to set it up the one ball is stuck between a rock and hard place i'm just gonna have to play this one and kind of settle i was actually trying to bump the six to get a bang shot on the two but again my cloth um, is a bit slow it's a bit worn it needs to be changed and definitely that's something that i will be doing very very soon but for the most part i've just got to do the best 
that I can with what I have. But the principles of pool is not necessarily dependent upon the type of condition. It has to do with the knowledge, even though the conditions of the table will make the job sometimes easier rather than harder. So now what I have to do there is that I was trying to play a really devastating safety locked up behind the 9 and the 7. I did play the one, I did play the cue ball really good, it hit into the zone that I wanted it to head into. But that one ball, that two ball actually leaked out there on me. Leaving me with an open opportunity here for a run out. Pocketing the two, stunning into the middle of the table to get that three ball in here, straight in. All right, very good control. As you can see guys, throughout both rocks, I have complete control over the rock. And this is one of the principles of playing professional pool that most pool players will need to learn. Controlling the cue ball, getting the cue ball into areas that you, that will make it more favorable for you to win more rocks. Missing is a part of the game. Missing is a part of the growing process. If you make every shot, then obviously you are a perfectionist. So sometimes you miss, you learn from these mistakes and then you go back to the table and you improve and build. All right. So a nice little stop shot there on the three, getting nice in on the four. Again, you can see that the cloth is a bit stubborn in terms of on a faster table, maybe on a Simonis 860. That cue ball would have definitely been closer to the five. It would have made contact with the eight and it would have got me somewhere a lot nicer. But again, it doesn't matter. The principles is what we want to learn here. So nice shot on the four here, back to the middle of the table. I decided to play that route from the five to the six simply because of where the seven ball is. All right. I needed, uh, I actually got too much angle here than what I actually needed. I needed a bit more flat angle to just stun across for the seven. But again, the cloth is a bit slow, so hence it bumped off the rail and died. So I'm just going to have to caress this six ball in. Just rolling that in here, barely squeezing that in, getting in between the nine and the seven. So now I'm left with a high angle on the seven. So here we go, and we're on the seven, but now I have a really tough shot from the seven here to get back onto the eight. I really wanted the cue ball to be a little bit closer towards the nine so I could stun out for the eight. So now I'm going to have to play a really tough shot here. I can see that a natural angle cutting the seven ball into that left corner would take me three reels back to the middle of the table. Beautiful shot there. Very, very well done. Very, very well done on that shot. Literally would have wanted a bit more spin on that, but that would have complicated the making of the seven ball. So I would have been sacrificing the shot for position, which usually depends on how you're feeling as a player, depending on the event that you're in, if it's a practice session or it's a match. Sometimes you have to decide which one is more advantageous to you. I thought that playing the shot was more important here than trying to get position because of the natural path. I was a bit annoyed at missing that very very easy eight after executing so many tough shots there and so I missed that really really easy eight ball shot and this is again one of the grave mistakes that a lot of nine ball players make. They miss easy shots and that is what allows us to lose um, rocks and so this is something that definitely Whenever you're down to the end phase of the game, you have to place a lot more focus. If it is, you should place focus on every shot, but you should play more focus on the shot that is leading you towards the cheese, the money ball, the winning ball. And so I needed to spend a little bit more extra time on that shot there to make that eight. Now the shot that you see I'm playing here, this is obviously a practice session. In an actual game, I would never never try to play a three reel here let's just pull that up a little bit here for you let's just take it back a little bit okay good so we are actually going to be playing a three reel shot here which is obviously not something that i would actually do in an actual match i perhaps would have perhaps i perhaps would have just played 
one two rails filling the eight and coming back to where the cue ball is at the moment but i felt like i could have actually made this three rail here so i tried it obviously because it's a practice session i did make contact with eight and i didn't leave a make of a shot again had i even tried this shot in an actual match and i left the eight there it would have almost looked like a really good shot but sometimes pretty shots don't win matches pretty shots only win games and that's something that we definitely need to cut out of our it's a bad habit to try to do execution shots in matches all right so i could have actually played a one real kick on the eight there to get a nine into the side many things could have happened there but again as i said it's all a part of the learning process when you're practicing the best time to try stuff is now so you know what works and what doesn't all right so i'm just getting a bit erratic here in terms of the rack so i'm just going to bring the rack to an end here um in just a few minutes but i just want to take the opportunity here to thank you guys for the subscriptions you guys have been supporting me i've earned almost 45 to 50 subscribers in the past week and i've been putting in the work in practice i've been trying to perform let's have a look at that shot there again in slow motion do you see the amount of top spin that is on that ball the amount of power as you can see here boom hop into the air that hop alone guys i can tell you that even though i made that eight ball straight into that corner you can see how the cue ball died when it came off the side rail there i lost a lot of top spin to get that cue ball to come around the cushions just because of the amount of power so i wanted you to see that guys in slow motion but let's just get back to the rack here all right i left myself with a tough nine but as i said guys um i hope that you guys are practicing oh yes i was actually saying thank you for the subscriptions i earn about 50 of you guys to come onto my channel and join my family and to improve with me and grow with me do take care until next time and i hope that you guys continue to improve practice and get better in the game of nine ball eight ball or ten ball do take care until next time apex elena signing out saying goodbye for now Bye-bye.